Hello, my name is Lata, and today we are going to read Animal Homes. The author is Ashwita Jayakumar, and the illustrator is Nafisa Nandini Krishna. Animals live all around us. So in this picture, you can see there are two children playing outside their home. Can you see any animals in the picture? Here is a bird and there are some ants also on these plants around them. So animals live all around us. You look around you, you look this way, that way. You can see animals around us. Birds build their homes up high and so do bees. So birds, so you can see this bird is on this tree. Where do you think this bird's home is? It's in this hole in the tree. And here is another bird in its home. And here are bees. They also build their home, a beehive, up in the tree. Spiders spin their homes. Tiny termites build tall, tall homes. So spiders, they spin these thin, fine threads and they create their homes out of these threads. Their home is a spider web. Termites, though they are tiny like ants, they build homes that look like hills, you know, small hills but big for their size they build their tall tall homes out of this mud snails and tortoises grow homes on their backs can you see the snails in the picture can you see the tortoises what do you see on their back their back has this hard shell and what do you think they do? They just, when they are tired, when they want to rest, they just pull their head in, they pull their hands and legs in into the shell and they go to sleep. Fish live in the water. Frogs can live in water and on land. Can you see in the picture, there are these frogs. One of them is just sitting on a leaf and the other is jumping from one leaf to the other. Frogs can also swim. So frogs can live in water and on land. And there are fish in this picture that are also swimming in the water. They live in the water. Rabbits and rats live in burrows under the ground. So what are burrows? Burrows are holes. The rabbits and rats, they dig holes in the ground and the holes are really long and deep and inside are little pockets. They are small spaces where they can rest and go to sleep and they can also store some food. If they find some food and they're not hungry, they'll just put it in their burrow and eat it later. Monkeys and apes make trees their homes. So monkeys and apes, you've seen, you may have seen some monkeys. Monkeys live uh, in trees. They are, they're very comfortable there. They always, they're hanging from trees. They're jumping from one tree to another. Those trees are their homes. Bears and wolves live in dens. What is a den? A den is like a cave on the side of a hill. So this is where a bear would live with his or her baby and a wolf also lives in a den. Crocodiles live in swamps. A crocodile is this big creature here, big animal here with these big scary sharp teeth 
and this is a crocodile and it lives in a swamp. A swamp is this part of land where there is a lot of water on the, uh, on the, in the mud and you can, there are also some tall trees and lots of grass and so the water doesn't dry up. It stays muddy, it stays wet and that's where a crocodile lives. Deer live in forests and so do tigers. What is a forest? A forest is a part of land where there are a lot of trees, a lot of bushes. You know, people like you and me, we don't go into the forest. What lives there are animals like deer and tigers. One large home. Some animals live close to us and some live far away. But do you know what we have in common with all the animals of the world? We all build our homes in one large home, planet Earth. So if you look around you, you have seen some animals, they live close to us. You see, you see dogs, cats, cows, goats, donkeys, birds like crows, pigeons, sparrows. These animals live close to us and some animals live far away. But do you know what is the same for all these animals and for us? We all have our homes in one large home, which is planet Earth. The difficult words in this story are termites, small insects that eat wood, burrow, hole or tunnel dug by an animal to use as a home, swamp, land with trees that is always wet, forest, land with many trees. Discuss these questions either with your friends or write it in your notebook. What is this story about? How many animal homes do you see where you live? What are the names of these animal homes in your mother tongue?